Hi, my name is Rudy McLaughlin, and in this video I will introduce you to the ADS-1298 PDK and show you how to uh, set that up and get started evaluating that device uh, for your system. The ADS-1298 is TI's incredible new integrated analog front end for biopotential measurements, such as those used with ECG systems or EEG systems. And when you get a PDK, um, you're actually going to, to be getting two boards, and the larger board is what um, is designated as the MMB0 board. And this, this board has a TI DSP, a C5507, and it handles the interface for the data between uh, the 1298 and the computer. Now the 1298 EVM is this board here. The 1298 is the device in the middle, and you can see it's very small in an 8mm by 8mm package. And the board has many different connections for integrating this into your system, and it has jumpers to change the configuration for different supply voltages or reference voltages. And all of the, um, all the inputs into the device uh, can be accessed through the 15-pin uh, D connector at the end. And the way these two boards connect is through a series of, uh, of pins and pin sockets. And so they connect up like this. Now to evaluate the ADS-1298 with ECG type signals, you'll need an ECG uh, signal simulator such as this one. And this is a, a fairly inexpensive model. Uh, it has all of the uh, common ECG connections uh, in snap connectors that are all very clearly labeled and uh, you can adjust the uh, heart rate and simulate different kinds of cardiac uh, conditions using these buttons at the top. Now to connect the PDK system uh, to the simulator you'll need a cable and uh, because the, the uh, inputs into the EVM are through a, a D-pin connector, a 15-pin D connector Having a cable that goes from that kind of connector to a series of snap uh, connectors for the simulator is the most convenient way to go about it. Uh, so you can take this cable and snap them into the simulator, and I'll do that now. And then connect the other end into the board. Now with the PDK comes a 6 volt power adapter and uh, you'll want to either use this, this adapter or a 6 volt battery pack uh, to power up the interface board. And the uh, MMB0 interface board connects up to the computer through a USB cable. Okay, now everything is uh, set up and um, you'll want uh, some software to run this. You will need the ADS-1298 PDK software to take data from the evaluation system. The best way to obtain the software is by downloading it from the PDK product folder. Use the URL shown in this video or just search for ADS-1298 at ti.com and you'll find this page. Here you can download and install the software from the link approximately halfway down the, the page. Using the provided software, all ADS-1298 registers can be read from and written to. The device can be evaluated in many different modes and data can be taken and displayed. The software starts up the device with the inputs internally shorted. The extremely low input referred noise of the device can be evaluated in this mode. Just click on the acquire button to acquire data from the interface board. A very useful feature for testing that the EVM is connected correctly and communicating with the computer is the integrated test mode input. Change to the ADC register tab on the left hand side of the interface. All channel inputs can be changed using the controls under the globally set channels heading here. All, under the channel input select te test signal. Now, when I press acquire again, a square wave of several millivolts 
will let me know that the PDK is communicating correctly with the computer. Once the setup is verified, we can change the inputs to normal electrode to see the signal from the ECG simulator. The analysis tab in the software interface has an option for ECG display. Switch to this view to have the individual ECG labels for the different leads. Now click acquire to get data from the ECG simulator. And there you are. The primary and augmented leads are shown in this graph and a radio button selector at the bottom of the graph switches the display to the chest leads. I hope this introduction to the ADS-1298 PDK has shown you how easy it is to start evaluating TI's new integrated biopotential sensing analog front end. More information about the ADS-1298 EVM, including a full schematic of the board, can be found in the user's guide. For the user's guide and a full data sheet for the ADS-1298, visit ti.com medical.